was as the knife was coming in here. This we won. Yeah? If you don't get out of the way, that's his problem. That is not my problem. If you make a semi and somebody's still there, that's their problem. So, I'm making a semi, he's him, his protection, he's attacking me with a knife I've got to So, here, one. Now, the control, look, how much control do I have? Where's the knife? Can he cut it across my arm? There is big dangers with this. Here, I do this different. I come here. I turn here. He steps back. I have a big hole right across my wrist. So when we're looking at technique, when I started off with the EPO, I said we look at this little piece, this little piece, this little piece. Yeah? So when you're looking, remember one thing. If he stabbed you, you're shitting dead, so you can't have another go. So, you must first of all learn whether this is going to work. Yeah? I'm blocked in. What have I got? Have I got any fun? Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. I could even go like that or something. I don't know, I could even do some sort of jujitsu y thing. Yes? So, I've got some balance coming. But if he stood like this, He's got another bloody hand. As soon as I do that, he's gonna, oh, I'm gonna be dead. And then the other hand's gonna come in play and the throat's gonna be talking to me. So, until you've got the first thing, don't step out in front of a bus to stop it. Putting your hand out from the pavement's a better idea. Yeah? Oh, it'll stop, but with new uh, technique now. So, Take something. Well, if I've got his balance, do I give it him back? Oh, I wouldn't have thought so. The take, keep it going, <coughs> keep it going, make whatever you want to do. 6,000 finishes. First of all, we just do your cameo across his back, keeping his arm underneath me. What happens then is it rips it out from the shoulder socket and you beat him to get with a sudden, uh, sudden end of it. So, take, 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 and people like to lay it across in the yard. Can't be after that. So, right, let's go uh, ski and one. A good way of training for this is can I have somebody else? Can you please? We're going to both come to it, you know, you're going to stand right by here, as though you're my shadow, as though you're me. So what happens is, he comes to go, and we both hit you, right? That's each other standing so close. So we go, one. And what we want to be, is I want to be a hand over the top of his thumb here. Just so that my fist is about there, over the top of his thumb. So we get used to this. But I don't want to be turning too soon. Of <laughs> course, it does block his muscle a little bit, but I don't want to be turning too soon. Otherwise, he's going to track me. So if I go, he's just going to follow me, isn't he? I've got to get used to this, yeah? This, so that I'm getting a nice, tight motion. Oh, that's good. You just catch it, you can't get that right. Yeah? So now, one. Now I have to extend on through. Thanks very much. So, first of all, you've got to find out your timing from this attack. The other thing you've not got to do is this. Because what's the rest of it? Maybe somebody chopped his arm off and we got his left in the You need to know what's left of him and what the rest of him is doing. The funny thing is that the one bit you know about is the bit you're already holding on to. So we extend here down. And it's automatically circular. It cannot be just down straight. Now, right. Was that effective? 
from yesterday, was that a fact? Yes. You say so? You say so? Yes. No, 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 yeah, but was it effective? What, what, was it, what would be a problem with it? He's still alive today. He's still a bloody liar. That's what's the problem. That means he could have a gun in his other pocket. And he was being kind to you the first time, just wanted to stab you. Or he could have a grenade. He could be, a, could be one of these bomber people that blows themselves up. Harry Carroll, for what they call him. We don't know what his second name is. So, as it comes in, down, and round, it comes through his throat. Through him, here, control, taken nicely. Turn, sit down, and wait for the clip. <laughs> you have to sit and wait somewhere, so. <coughs> control. So, first of all, we've got to make sure the line of the attack. Look at the width of my body. This way. I know it's almost exactly this way. You dare. <laughs> <laughs> but as I turn sideways, it's at least half. Most of you have a damn sight le less than that. Apart from him. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a good attack position for him. That's where he's going to be wanting to strike me, centre. Because it's a natural thing. People don't go for this side or this side. They go near here to the centre. It's a natural, <coughs> you want to give yourself plenty to aim at. So here, so if I get here, and I can be in this position, I've got many different things apart from this, this hand, I've got the really tight thing, I have this other nice little thing here, <coughs> whereby this thing is across to your hand here, and I'm being very kind. You'll notice I use this part of my hand across his eye. Should be your fingertips and uh, if it was a knife, it would be. So I'll meet me into the eye socket and put it back. Does this sound terrific? Looks like to announce your name. Swimming session is about to commence. Public swimming is about to commence. The first person who picks up a knife and attacks you is not Mr. Knife. He's not Mr. Prim. You're not going to be in a dojo setting. He's going to be out on the street. You don't know whether he's got a friend with him or not. You don't know if there's another person going to attack you. Could <coughs> be somebody sitting in a car ready to pounce out as soon as he's, it all starts. You could be being set up. All these factors are happening. Where it is true, if you've killed somebody on the street, you're probably going to get done for manslaughter. Um, and you're going to have to prove you're innocent. But, I'd rather be trying to prove me innocent than wear a wooden suit. You don't get a chance from there. And if, if somebody gets caught for screwing, uh, for killing you, they'll probably get five years in reality. So, down, around, tuck in the road, control, here. Now, many different ways. I've taken this off. There's all sorts of different ah. <laughs> Whichever one you want. Ah. Yeah, hundreds and hundreds. Who wants to play with that anyway? He's down on the thing, his throat's cut, so he shouldn't need to take the knife off. Who's think the friends are still on the place? Do you agree with that? Then number two, here. <laughs> number two. One. For this purpose, we're going to come here. Now, Mike is tall. We're going to come here and we're going to put our plate hand under the chin. Here. We're going to come back with this knee. Here. Yeah. And that's under the chin. These hands would normally, as I say, take the eyes of this here. You'll press it, pressure on the eyes. We're not saying you're going to try and rip his eyeballs out or anything like that. It's just the pressure on the eyes makes the head spin back quick. It doesn't give them a second chance. It doesn't really matter a shit where you're taking it, because you're here, here, this is basic a ribby, 
And if you're here and into the eye socket, then the eye automatically comes across here. And if all else fails, whack. Yeah? Give him an elbow and you can scratch the back of the head. <coughs> so those two techniques, thank you. Have a little look, but think about the beginning. The thing is to survive the original strike. Handy. Honestly, it's so So it's coming from Showman again. Showman? Uh, <laughs> oh, why not? So it was going to be your command, so we'll make all right then, <laughs> One. Always. Always. I love it. One. Now, elbow touches here. Arse goes through first. It comes through last. That's already up. Oh, go back where it went. Oh, ah, there it is. Now, should he stay on his feet <laughs> and walk, his feet will get tangled up with his own intestines. Okay. Nice down there. It could have been still left in, but. Return to center. But, here, I'm turning, I can actually come all the way around. Here, elbow or, or bum goes through first, head comes up last. Now what happens? No. What happens all the time is people go, we get to this thing and they go, struggle. Hit. Elbow comes across. He comes up to me. I don't have to come to me. Now I'm in a perfect position. <coughs> Turn. <coughs> rip. Yeah. <coughs> and again, four billion is taking out the hand. And everybody has their toes up, so I'm going to worry about that. What's the most important thing with a knife? Without a bloody way. Don't be stood in its life. What's the other most important thing with a knife then getting out of his way? Don't try and do it too soon. So, getting out of the way requires a lot of time. This means a lot of practice. And I do suggest that you look around, you can all have a look at that, and look around for something like it. Because a wooden knife will only give you splinters. A steel knife can give you death. So get used to it so it's a mindset. And you're dealing with it straight away. You're not thinking, oh, no. You're already dead. You've actually got to react to it before you virtually see it. So every time you're making a technique, you should be really treating it as though it's an arm and whether it is or isn't. Okay. So, here, one. That's offset. Offset it. Turn. Strike. Through. Back in. Rift out. Very important. 
Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Hold the knife into his stomach when you're when you're doing it. So as it's coming here, I've turned tight to smack. This is cut across here. Make sure you don't cut it across here. Here, if anything is cut across, it's his leg. This comes here and you feel your dark. You raise, which you take you off the thing. If I don't raise you and I come here, you're going to be shooting yourself now to do the attacker. If I do this, you have some control over what I'm doing. I've been doing this with him, it's me for one If I do this, it's that easy, yeah? If I'm on the back wall, whack. When it's on the whack, you should be quite tight. Okay, almost a hammer, and you're ripping through. It's nice to see an But don't play. They're not. They're not playing with you. So if you, and it comes through here, then you bend the neck on the middle of the back here, and it's ah, through, and that much of a, oh, oh shit, and it's more stuck to it. Yeah, it would fit through. Because if he's fallen on the knife, he's going to push us all the way out. Same time. Because he ain't going to pull it out either. Oh, 